Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I am Rider of Dinosaurs. I know it's been a while since I published anything, and for those who waited, thank you. As some of you might know, I moved to a different apartment to be close to work. Oh, the irony. I now work from home. <laughs> oh well. You might notice that the sound is a bit echoey. Unfortunately, due to the current situation, I was not able to furnish the apartment fully so the sound is going to suffer a bit, at least until I can find a way to fix it. For that, my apologies. Now, on to what brought us here. Stephen Pennington. Well, this person is a YouTuber, and I use this term very loosely. He creates a one minute long videos. On this video, he decided he would debunk the existence of illnesses by driving around a hospital. Confused? Curious? Let's watch. But as always, and before we continue, a huge thank you to all my Patreons. Atticus Finchikas, Bella Charge, Cajun Drifter, Clifford Reynolds, Elizabeth Schneider, Frank Kelly, Globus Schillers, Janie, Jared, Lee W. Mama Murder, Mr. MP, Patrick Miller, Fadarang. Robert Innocencio, Robert Williams, Stringy News 1, Sebastian Sauce. Surf. Bishanti, William Inabnet. Christ Puncher, Conrad Silas. And my newest Patreon, Chismondo. I, I just didn't want to lie to you, so I thought I'd show you the back of the building. Now, there are four cars right there. Well, let's confirm that. One. Two, three, four. Four cars? Great. You're better than GM. You can count. Remember this? So here's the deal. Mm -hmm. I have invited three children to come to the class. Game Skeptic fights the Flat Earth, also known as Writer of Dinosaur mm -hmm. and Negative Exponents. Ah, yes, the master of science in instructional design, actually, who can't count because he invites three people and mentions four. Those were the times. Now that we established that Pennington can count, Pennington, <laughs> let's move on. And uh, they could be uh, patients and they could be employees, I don't know. If you don't know, why are you even mentioning it? Uh, there's two cars right here. Now, these have got to be uh, employees because, you know, of that power structure, and these are back doors and delivery doors. And, and they could also be patients, you know, because it's a small hospital and probably it struggles a little bit with parking, right? Now, you'd call this a pretty small building if it, uh, if it wasn't for it being two-story. Now, there's just one car out front, and... Uh, so I don't know how many employees there are and how many patients there are, but uh, not many, okay? Uh, this is not a plague. <laughs> this is not a pandemic. That's the most asinine reasoning I've ever heard in a long, long time. At the time of this video, there were 322 cases in Oklahoma. Yes, I said Oklahoma, because this is the community hospital in Oklahoma. Just a community hospital. Now, I don't know what you were expecting. Were you expecting something like this? We are in the parking lot at Cedars Sinai, and this is an absolutely incredible scene. These injured people are staying in the parking lot because the emergency room right now is filled to capacity. If this is what you were expecting, then I think you've been watching too many movies. Watch a TV series instead. Something that will help you. Something that will teach you new skills. I suggest you start with. Teletubbies. And because these videos are very, very short, there's not much more that I can uh, address. So instead of ending the video here, I'm moving on to another one. So this is a twofer. Let's get started. I've got for you uh, a really, a really bad conspiracy theory. Oh, goody. I can't wait. This is sarcasm, by the way. Let's just say uh, this is a conspiracy guess. This is a conspiracy guess? <gasps> I'm shocked. Unlike the other ones, right? 
The other ones are not gas, just this one. Because I just thought of it, and uh, it's so brand new, I didn't even thought of the first uh, hickey. Wait a minute, did you just say hickey? Hickey. Yes, you did, didn't you? I don't think it means what you think it means. I don't know if you're aware, but this is a hickey. You know, until I uh, I looked at the playback on the first one, this I just made a few minutes ago this uh, video, and I'm make, remaking it right now because I checked and... Get on with it! Yes! Get on with it! I still got uh, barbecue on my cheeks from that barbecue chicken. Man, that was that was good. <laughs> but I washed it off because I'm a professional and I'm redoing this. And um, it's on uh, a conspiracy guess. And it is that the uh, chemtrails are going to be COVID-19. I'm sorry, but there's something here I need to address. Something that has been bothering me. He looks so familiar with that mustache and beard. For a while, I couldn't remember who he reminded me of. But then I thought, maybe he shaved it a little bit. And then he hit me. Being the merciless. I know, I know, I'm sorry about this. Let's continue. Now they've been spraying us for quite some time. And uh, this is what I thought of when I was washing my face is uh, why would they want us in the homes if they're just gonna spray COVID-19? I mean, they won't kill you if you're in a house. Now, here's a question conspiracy theorists never answer about this kind of thing. Why would they want to kill you? Well, it's taken them 10 years or whatever to figure out how to get this thing uh, in the tiny cracks and it'll get into your house. What? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, no matter what, you know, uh, maybe uh, you don't even have to have the air conditioner on. Well, this might be a shock to you, but not everyone in the world has air conditioning. Maybe you don't even have to have a fan on. Maybe they got it so it'll just go into your house through your glass windows or something. I don't know. In things like this, I'm a bit like Ratchikal. I don't like to repeat myself. But here it goes. If you don't know, why are you mentioning it? it, it like I said, I'm guessing. This is a terrible uh, conspiracy theory because it hasn't been talked about with anybody. I've just thought of it myself. So what you're saying is, it's all bollocks. You just thought of it and thought, hmm. I'll make a video about it. On the other hand, you are showing us a very important thing. How conspiracy theories come to be. Someone who has nothing better to do, thinks of something with zero evidence, and most of the times not even thinking of any details, case in point, makes a YouTube video about it and presto, a new conspiracy is born. What he's about to say next is what he thinks the scientific community does regarding new hypotheses, which is what he thinks he has. Because he's not clear about it, I took it the wrong way the first time. But after rewatching it, I realized that is what he was doing, mocking the scientific community for having theories, models, and peer reviews. Let's hear it. I haven't discussed it with anybody. Nobody's made a model. Uh, then, then us peers, we haven't got together and said, well, that's a great theory and a fantastic model. Uh, let's just go ahead and call it a fact. Maybe they'll name it after us and we'll be famous someday. <laughs> and there it is, folks, what he really thinks the scientific method is. It's easy to see why he thinks that. Someone who is so ill-educated can't grasp the concept on how things are really done. I don't pretend to know it fully myself, but I know it's not a gathering of buddies over a beer agreeing on something a twat just made up and posted on the internet. That's the conspiracy theory way, not the scientific way. No, this is not a fact. It's a guess. I'm just guessing that uh, COVID-19 could come down out of the sky here in the next week or so. This is kind of kinky, and I like that. Oh, that's it. Bathe the Stiffmeister. Oh, oh, that's great. Oh. And kill a whole bunch of us. Now, uh, they probably want to kill, uh, I mean, this is just logical, the baby boomers, because there's just so many of us. Right. All over the world, you know. Uh, there's more baby boomers than I think any other group. But anyway, uh, now let's just say uh, that's what we got to get ready for. And I just thought I'd let you know because it was a, well, it's a, let's say it's a theory now. Okay. It's a theory now. You keep using the word. 
I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> you have a good day. And this is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in my next video. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the bell button, like, and don't forget to share. If you wish to support me further, consider buying my merchandise or becoming one of my Patreons.